again, my name is Gabe Zolner. This is the 15th of February, 2019. Article on Newsweek, written by Jessica Kwong, that's K-W-O-N-G, posted on February the 15th, 2019. Title, Sam Coulter says Donald Trump is trying to scam the stupidest people in his base with the national emergency. Conservative political commentator and author Sam Coulter ratted against President Trump on Thursday night as he prepared to declare a national emergency to build his border wall, tweeting that such a move was intended to scam the stupidest people in his base. Coulter, a confidant of Trump who turned against him last month after a surprising move to reopen government without any border funds, quote tweeted Conservative View editor Daniel Horowitz posts that, quote, the goal of national emergency is to end illegal immigration and cartel smuggling, end of quote. Horowitz wrote that 100 to 200 miles of fencing will not do, and that the unaccompanied minors will come anyway, including points of entry, and not only get amnesty for themselves, but for those here, which is why I said we need to shut down the points of entry, open it for like two days a week. No, the goal of the national emergency is for Trump to scam the stupidest people in his base for two more years, she tweeted. In a separate tweet, she, which is, I believe, a he, the goal is to get Trump's stupidest voters to say he's fighting. No, he's not. If he signs the bill, it's over. Trump was set to declare a national emergency mid-afternoon Friday aimed at securing about $6.5 billion to build the border wall. His biggest campaign promise, well actually, his biggest campaign promise was draining the swamp and putting Hillary in jail. The border wall he wasn't going to build, it was going to be paid for by Mexico. He planned to sign spending legislation averting another government shutdown during the same event, slated to take place in the White House Rose Garden. Hours before Trump's planned announcement, Coulter retweeted her stance that he should not declare a national emergency. There are no emergency powers to build a wall if Trump signs the bill, she tweeted. It's like signing a confession, then immediately appealing it. She, which I think is a he, added, throw a rock and you'll hit someone with more common sense than the people Trump has surrounded himself with. Throughout the recent negotiations with Democrats about border security, Trump has continued to appeal to his base. He held a rally for his supporters in El Paso, Texas on Monday, during which he falsely stated that the border city went from being one of the most dangerous to safest municipalities in the country after a barrier was built at the border. Now there's a picture of Sam Coulter. I want you to take a look at that photograph. Notice the chiseled jaw, the jaw bone back here. And notice the flat forehead, and notice the way the eyebrow is sort of penciled to sort of try to hide the eyebrow bone. And notice the chin. Folks, Sam is a transgender, I believe. You can actually see a little bit of the Adam's apple if you take a close look, how it's probably been reduced in size, but it's there. An absolute guy. Always flipping the hair, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I just don't know why they have to lie about it. But Trump's plan did not surprise Coulter. In an interview on the Yahoo News podcast, Skullduggery, earlier this month, she, he predicted that Trump would go ahead with the declaration. I think he's finally going to pull that pocket constitution out of his lapel pocket and, oh my gosh, I'm the president. This is great, she said at the time. Coulter voiced disapproval for the bipartisan deal that Trump agreed to that provides $1.375 billion for 55 miles of wall because it falls short of the original demand. Quote, will someone please primary this guy? Question mark. End of quote. She tweeted late Thursday. All right, so look, folks. This wall, distract, divert, to deceive. That's all it is. Don't look here, look there. And he's setting a precedence 
Well, actually, Obama set the president by doing what he did, ignoring Congress, circumventing Congress. Trump just did the same thing. The next Democrat presidents, guess what they're coming after? Huh? These. I'll attach the link. You take a look. Let me know if you think that's Ann or Sam. Huh? <laughs> I think it's a Sam. Again, I don't care. I just don't like all the lies.